Hey everybody, welcome back to Glenn's Garage. So today I thought I'd do a, a walk around on the car, a sort of summary of all the work we've done during the restoration of my 86 300ZX Turbo here. So I had a look at the first video I did when we got the car back here after I'd driven it down the island. And uh, that was a walk around and pointing out all the things that I thought needed doing and, you know, sort of my plans on what I thought I would do with it. So I thought it might be kind of interesting to have a look now what actually did and actually transpired. She's back on the road. She'd been to the car shows, car meets and stuff. So we're going to kind of outside, inside under the hood and under the four corners and have a look what actually had to be done. All right, so outside. As you can see, she's looking particularly stunning right now in the gleaming white paint. Um, I There's been some touch-ups done, but that is the paint that it had on it when I brought it down here with a cut and a buff and polish and lots of fettling, it has come up beautifully. Um, i go at the front here. I mean, I, the only thing we did different up here is we I put a yellow tint on the fog lights. Um, if we look down the side, I mean, the obvious is the wheels. We've gone to um, 17 inch Z33 staggered rims on it. So they're off an 04 350 Z. Um, picked up some nice Z center caps for them. Um, all the side moldings have been deleted. These ones here, they all stick up. They're all like a self-adhesive, so you get some strong, uh, like a waxy nylon string. Uh, you can get behind it like dental floss and with some heat, they come off. Um, same with the back here. The only thing you're gonna find at the back is there's two holes that aren't used for any North American trim, but I believe might be used for trim in Japan that had to be welded up and then that was painted and blended in there. So I mean, you can't tell. But, um, side skirts, nice new seal all along the edge there, nice white seal. They've been taken off, all cleaned up. Turbo decals, looking particularly sharp in the gold because it ties in with the wheels. Um, trim, all the trim has been refinished. Turbo car has black trim anyway, but uh, it was coming off in places and peeling off, so all these pieces have been completely refinished and uh, they look like new now. Um, lots of cleaning, of course, and detailing. So, I mean, all in here with the T bar sits is all ridiculously clean now. The rear year bumper. taken off the car and refinished. We redid the black in there. There was a dent down here that's been fixed. The lights were all polished out. The rear spoiler, we got that fixed. To look at the first one, this was all bowed out and breaking apart inside. So we've come up with some creative ways to restore that. And this is, I mean, this is all in the various videos, uh, but it does have its original 86 spoiler on, on this car. And as I found as I went through it, 86 in Canada did not get the third stoplight. So this is a rather unique and very rare these days spoiler. Most of them are long, rotted apart. 
and in the US they they went to a fiberglass oven with a light in it. Um, so we didn't get that. So a bit of unique Canadiana there. Uh, we now have a working power antenna. We had that ugly rubber floppy thing before. Um, all the mud flaps have all been cleaned up, taken off, restored. The lettering's all been redone on them. Um, this mirror was refinished. It was in shockingly bad shape, so that's all been redone. Um, there was a chip down here. That's all been touched up, blended in properly. So suspension wise, front suspension, um, everything was completely taken apart. It has, it had the electronically adjustable struts that are no longer available and the rebuild kits haven't been available for 10 plus years. Something to do with the fluid being a carcinogen so they were banned. So if your electronically adjustable struts are pooched, you're pretty much done. So I've done what? you're forced to do and that's to go to KYB cartridges in the front and then KYB shocks in the back. So the strut housings were all taken apart, refinished, new KYB cartridges in it. currently on lowering springs. They lowered it about one inch. I have the originals if someone ever wants them, but it's about one inch. To me, it actually looks, I, I, it looks way better. I didn't want it slammed, but I wanted a little less of that gap. So uh, it's on lowering springs, new bump stops, etc. new tops, uh, bearings and mounts. Everything's all done up at the top of the strut. Um, new ball joints, tie rod end, uh, sway bar bushing, sway bar links and every part was taken apart, refinished, cleaned up, new bits as needed, and put back together. And of course, uh, new rotors, new brake pads. Uh, we got 20 mil spacers, just to give that, uh, gives me enough clearance on these wider Z33 wheels to the strut, and I get a little, I get a little nearer to the outside of the car, which I like that look. My on the rears, Rotors, brake pads, everything's been refinished. Same 20 mil spacers, uh, new shocks, um, new uh, sway bar bushing, sway bar links, and all of that stuff's been done as well. So all four corners are pretty much renewed. Same lowering springs on the back here as well. Okay, so let's have a look under the hood now. Same engine, um, but staggering amount of work done under here. Um, most of the consumables have been replaced um, just as a matter of course. Timing belt, water pump, thermostat, idler pulley, new uh, camshaft seals, leads of course, plugs, uh, rotor, um, valve cover, valve cover gaskets, we're all done on it, uh, it's got new alternator, it's got new starter, or re rebuilt, new battery, um, new oil pressure switch, uh, most every part was taken out, and everything's been cleaned under here. We had a little bit of rust under the tray there, so that was all redone. A 
touched up. Uh, we kept a couple of the service records from back uh, tw almost 24 years ago. Kept a couple of those from on the island here. Um, we've gone to a cone filter. Um, it's all just been cleaned up. We've got new flaps for the headlights here. And of course, you know, it's just been redone in the, the gold with the red accents on it. All up under under here was cleaned up and polished. A few hoses here. Uh, little things that most people will never notice, but where these hit the bump stops down here, they came from the factory with a clear vinyl sticker or whatever adhesive sticker on it and they turn yellow and they peel and they move so I put black on so at a glance it just looks like all of these but it was done with the black on there I like that no one will ever notice it but it was done the blanket was removed of course everything was polished they cleaned up Everything taken out of here and recleaned, and we do we wrapped uh, the harnesses in this new uh, woven wrap here. Just tidies it up, makes it look a lot nicer. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm forgetting stuff as I walk around the car. I know that, but we kept the electrically adjustable covers for these here I just what I've done is I just put plugs in the end here so they're nice and neat the wiring still there if at some point a future owner comes across a good set of adjust electrically adjustable ones they can be plugged in All right, so interior. Uh, this was probably where the biggest amount of work was. Um, somewhat obviously, the seats, all new leather. Again, there's all the videos on how I did this, recovering these seats with the leather. A armrest that was missing completely in there now and recovered in leather. We've refinished these console panels. There's a new gear shift boot in leather, part brake boot. Um, the Fast and Furious gear knob is gone. I've just got a simple black five speed one there. would have come with a burgundy one but they're unique to the turbo and I haven't located one steering wheel went with a Momo wheel the original I took out and uh, it's there if somebody ever wants it to put the leather on but you've also got to get the uh, clock spring at the back if you want the cruise control on that to work the dash was all good anyway uh, new carpets, hard to see here, new carpets, new floor mats. Headliner was done. Restored there. Um, door panels were all cleaned up and what we did is we blew very very fine paint we blew very very fine paint in here just across there where they had faded to an orange color um, so that looks really nice now so come around to the back 
Oh, T-bar roofs are sitting here. It's all new carpet here. All this trim, all removed. It's been refinished. It was color matched, the original color, and it's been refinished. Restored the parcel shelf here. Get the, got rid of the horrible furry, velvety speaker covers. Down here, I think we can see it. Yeah, there's the uh, toolkits. All it was even all restored. So the interior is pretty much as close to new as we could get it. The uh, seat backs were all taken off and redone. I put some new chrome around. I'd say it's about 95% perfect, but they uh, night and day to what they were. Passenger side, same. We did order the turbo embroidery for the, the seats there and they did an awesome job of matching the original uh, look with the lettering and the leaves. Um, I specifically asked for the, the stitching to be done in a very, very light gold because that ties in with my thought for the wheels and the under the engine and everything. So, again, yeah, everything's new under here. If we flip this forward, there's a storage bin under here. The edges of that were broken, so that's all been fixed up now. So there is some storage for stuff there that came from the factory. All right, so I think that sort of summarizes what's done. Shows how clean this all came up. All right, there you go. Um, that kind of very briefly summarizes over a year of work, probably about a thousand hours of work. Um, I think, you know, there's a few things that I really thought long and hard about um, what to do. One of them was, you know, the gold color under the engine. Um, originally, a turbo car would have had crinkle black, and, oh, sorry, crinkle red. So should I have done that? And I went back and forth literally after the day I went to get the paint. Um, but ultimately I stuck with the gold and I, I'm genuinely pleased with the satin finish on the gold there. Um, the wheels, I, I was gonna change them. Then I was gonna keep the original turbo wheels, um, refinish them. And, and then I ultimately ended up going with these. They're still in the Nissan family. I like the style of them one inch bigger, which to me is enough. I don't didn't want to go to 18s or 19s personally. Don't like that look. Um, so I'm well pleased. And then going with the gold again, it, it to me it ties it all in. It's uh, and again personal taste, but as as is most of the restoration. I mean, you can choose to do what you want on the restoration. Of course, uh, you build your car, you can change colors, you can change the look, bolt different parts on. That's that's the beauty of it. Um, I've kept it pretty much stock. Um, the things that are, I've changed are easy to put back if somebody down the road was desperate to have a 100% original car. Um, but there we are, That's she's pretty much done. Um, like I said, about a thousand hours, a lot more money than I thought, a lot more time than I thought. Um, she's been out a bunch of runs now, uh, what I call dial-in runs. So take it out, find something that's not right, go back, adjust it, change it, whatever. Uh, she's running nice now. Um, it seems to be running good. I haven't had any real problems with it. So yeah, I think I'm not gonna say it's done. That would be crazy to say a 30 year, eight year old car that the work's done. There will always, always be work to do on a car of this age. Um, 
Uh, if you've got something that's running and driving and you can enjoy it in the summer and then park it in the winter and you know tick off a couple of projects each winter, um, to me, that's the best way to have the car. Um, because to do everything would cost tens of thousands of dollars, far more than the car is worth. Um, and so long as you've gotten it to the point that it's running good and you know handling safely and everything's decent on it and you know looking like you know nice like this i think it's a great car to enjoy i mean we have headed out to car shows headed out to car meets a lot of fun get people just on the street driving giving you the thumbs up and waving um because it's you don't see them that often so that's always the really cool part of owning an old car like this is you know talking to people about it and sharing it so anyway guys i've gone on and on enough thanks for watching thanks for tuning into the channel here and uh a like a subscribe if you enjoyed anything on the channel always appreciated and i hope everybody out there just has an awesome day you take care of yourself